I'm excited to do this Elisa Jordana thing. I mean, to set this up as best I can, the end of this, the first couple clips are going to be set up. Mm -hmm. But the end clip I have for you is Elisa Jordana completely projecting herself all over this woman she's streaming with. So Elisa, we've hated her for a long time. She had mm -hmm. that discord where people were doxing people and swatting people and she wasn't doing anything to stop it, wasn't speaking out against it because I only like positivity. Meanwhile, this is one of the most toxic bitches you're ever going to see. She uses people. She manipulates people. She's a, a, a climber and a clout chaser. Dated mm. Benji from the Howard Stern Show. Mm -hmm. Didn't like him, but she's such a sociopath that it's not about love and affection and sex and everything else. It's it, about attention. It's about climbing. So Howard Stern made fun of her, talked about how dog shit she was, embarrassed the hell out of her. Her and Benji are over. Then she goes to Andy Dick, and she is grabbing onto the corpse of Andy Dick and milking it for everything it's worth. She hooked him up with this with with the streaming community yeah, that didn't ended she get up him on the camping thing. Yeah, that ended up using him and fu uh, fueling him with booze and drugs. And she claims to love him. Oh, she still calls him her fiance. And she says, "This is my fiance, Andy Dick." She doesn't have any suitors. If you loved the guy and you gave a shit about him, you wouldn't let him go to these places. He's an addict. You can't give an addict booze and drugs. You can't give an addict somebody who will give them booze and drugs. Right. So she's a terrible fucking human being. She's an awful person. She had Benji's ex-girlfriend, Ayala Stern, on her show, who's apparently big on TikTok. Okay. She had her on her uh, live streams, her IRL streaming. And IRL streaming is about the lowest of the low. It's really fucking bad bad and dirty and nasty and shitty but uh she had her on mm -hmm. and you can tell from the get-go that elisa jordana is annoyed by this chick that elisa jordana is feeling a little exposed by this chick because as dumb as this ayala stern is and she is dumb she's a dumb tiktoker she raises some very good points about elisa and then at the end causes elisa to have a meltdown that kind of self owns uh -oh. Miss Jordana. Let's go ahead and check it out without further ado. There you go. Okay, uh, here, if you want to read the chat, okay. there it is. All I'm right. going to just bring so, up our. Is like a, yeah, I am like a cartoon character. Thanks. So we uh, just went to the Hollywood Museum. No, I didn't get any ones. I just went to the Hollywood. We just went to the Hollywood Museum. Look at. Look at how annoyed she is when the attention is not on her. Watch She's her face during it. Don't look at Ayala Stern. She's just going to talk. But she, her face gets so annoyed whenever the attention is not on her. Yeah, as soon as she starts talking and reading the chat and it's all about her, she's yeah. getting pissy. Plus, I'd love, I know it won't happen, but I'd love to see this happening in real life so I could just scream and, nobody cares! Yeah, right, exactly. Like I said, don't hold this woman up as a hero. She's just the conduit that we're using to get her to lose her mind. Sam, um, and we saw a bunch of really cool stuff. Um, and I do want to say something because I do sense like these different um, <laughs> motives here and oh. you know I feel like um, you know coming from there to Hollywood Museum you know where old school film was produced um, and you know everyone has their own situation and she is so fucking annoyed because she's about to call out Elisa for being fake and being phony and doing this bullshit IRL streaming stuff. Okay. And Elisa wants to do this thing where she wants to be a clout chasing crotch goblin, you know, jump onto any dick that'll get you a little attention. She wants to do these things where you abandon dignity, but then she also wants to be respected at the same time. I'm sorry, Elisa. You can't have both. Being respected waved bye-bye to you a long time ago. There's a reason the only people who hold you up as anything good are people with severe mental problems. I mean, severe mental problems. People who you look at them and you go, oh, they're not okay. Yeah. Those are the people who think you're good. Everyone else looks at you as the clout-chasing climber that you are. And you, you surround yourself with these people because you know they're too stupid to see what you actually are. This is an act, okay? This What's an act? Like then? A, 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 a improv, whatever, okay? And I want She to just know, eye rolled. Um, I know. She, she just eye rolled her guest. You know why? Because Elisa has heard this from everyone. Every time she brings someone in from outside her bubble, they all say the same shit about her. It always ends up being the same thing. Now, I'm lucky that we got to be one of the first ones to really hammer this out, really dig in and go after. Elisa Jordana 
is the one we kind of exposed. Then Brennan brought her on his show and she Finished got exposed off. further. And, you know, it's, you know, uh, Chrissy Mayer and Fra Frank Pellegrino saw her for what she was and the whole deal. And that we were kind of the ones to kind of get the ball rolling on Elisa. We, you know, we were kind of... Chad, you know, I know Frank Pellegrino gives us the credit for the Chad thing getting started. Mm -hmm. I don't think so. I think we picked that ball up. It had been left alone for a while, but people had mocked him before. Mm -hmm. It had just been like six to eight months since anyone had done anything. Um, we kind of came by Chad innocently enough. We didn't know that he was a target of other people. But Elisa was ours. Elisa was a personal thing where something happened to us that she could have done something about and she did fucking nothing, so we decided to start hammering the shit out of her. And now... Everyone who comes into her circle from the outside completely has her pegged within minutes. And it's always the same thing. You're fake. You're phony. This isn't real. You're putting on an act. You're just trying to clout chase. And she's rolling her eyes, and this bothers her so much because she keeps hearing it. And I guarantee that as this Ayala Stern is talking about this, in the back of her head, she's hearing... Everybody's a buzz about um, the toe guy. That's also got to bother her, though, too. Because like, it's the shit we've been saying. Well, not even just because of that. She's a clout chaser, and she's, you know, looking to get some notoriety and everything else. We're doing that off of her, not right. even trying to. No. And at the end of the day, we move on. And we're like, all right, we're done with you. We're going on to do something else. Yeah. And we just keep on going. We'll like, revisit you when you fuck up again. Yeah, and it's just like, as a clout chaser, you're like, I wish I could do that. <laughs> so, yeah, you think she's having some TikTok chick? on her stream because they're friends or whatever. No, she clearly hates her. It's a clout chasing move. And also, how mentally ill is this? Elisa used to date Benji Bronk from the Howard Stern show. Mm -hmm. So now she's having another one of Benji's exes on her show. Could we send out the message any more desperately that we still want to be around that Howard Stern world? And that we still wish that, you know, we were never turned away. Oh. Be clear, okay, that it's not like, uh who I am, okay? Um, and that's why I wanted to go on this live because I think that I felt yesterday I came out a little bit uh, bad um, and it kind of bothered me. Bothered you? you? Know? I, I was watching this and I was like, did she talk like an idiot or was that like a low-key low key drop? Yeah, did she just d do a bother dig at Elisa Jordana? Now, I don't that think That face she's... looks like Elisa almost thinks that for a minute. Yeah, she's... Like, oh, you little bitch. See, I don't know if that was. I don't know. I grew up with three sisters, and that's the uh, looking up like, oh, I'm smiling. So obviously I'm not thinking you're a cunt in right. the back of my head. Um, also, you know. Um... Wait, go back to the bothered reaction. Yeah, because it got I want to see if. It, uh, bad. Um, and it kind of bothered me, uh, you know. Um, also, you know. Oh, uh, wow. That she looked stare. up and then. Uh, and then looked away. Oh, wow. She did. That did hit her. Whether or not she meant it as nope. that, I don't know if she did. Elisa took it that way. Don't care. Um, I don't know. You know, um, and yeah, that's basically it. So that's what I wanted to say. Why do you like to put people, uh, make them uh, come out bad, uh, Elisa? <laughs> Elisa. <laughs> um, so I don't like that. Okay. I know right, that's why you stream with Andy Dick when he's all fucked up, you lying harpy. Boy, you really don't... If you're gonna do shit, you can't get all pissy when someone calls you out for it. Own what you do. I've been telling her this for so long. Own what you do. You're not respectable. You're not a show host. You're not a journalist. You're nothing like that. You are a lowly IRL streamer walking the dirty, filthy, disgusting, scum-ridden streets of Los Angeles. It's time... Look... You've already abandoned dignity. Now is the time for you to embrace it and admit it, and then you can move on. But as long as you keep trying to hold to, oh, I'm a pretty girl who's being respect, uh, who's respectable. The looks One, are, no. Yeah, the looks are leaving. You're getting older. Two, nobody respects you, except for a bunch of people who missed their meds that day. So everybody who comes in from the outside sees you for what you are, except for you. Just own it. And I mean, honestly, uh... It's really hard to be like, I don't like that kind of stuff. I don't like painting people in a bad picture. Yeah, but you developed a community of, like, rabid people that go after anyone you don't like, and you yeah. never denounce that. Right. The only people who would watch you are really mentally ill people, and then you treat them like they're normal when they start fucking up and doing bad things. You can't cater to this audience... It's like uh, Siegfried and Roy having a tiger. You can't be around tigers all the time and then get to act surprised when you get bit by a tiger.
It's, it's almost like you were playing with a tiger. Yeah. So let's watch. Uh, this is a next part, skipping to four minutes here, where they bring up their, you know, their their mutual ex, Benji Bronk from the Howard Stern okay. Show. Okay. Okay. So Ayala is a very big TikTok star. She takes it very seriously. She looks at it as an uh, an art Alyssa, form. So why do you talk to Benji when he still goes on dating uh, uh, friends? Like, not that I'm interested in him, but why do you keep talking to him and calling him in the morning? Like, I like this. I like that Elise is trying to control her stream, and this chick just keeps bringing up embarrassing shit to her. Hey, why do you? Uh, I don't know. Act like I don't know a clout chasing. Yeah. Um, and I'm sure that Elisa doesn't want it brought up in her public stream that she's still talking to Benji from the yeah, Howard Stern show. Because I'm sure a lot of the gentlemen that she's super nice to that they think, oh, I have a connection with yeah. her, aren't going to like hearing And that. she's still calling Andy Dick her fiancé, but he's too fucked up to be upset that she still talks to an ex. <laughs> Not that she would care anyway. Yeah, just curious. Yeah. Why do why I call do Benji? Yeah, why do you call him so much? Do you want to get back to him? Or what's, what's up with that? Okay, <laughs> I like fine. her. Like, what's, what's, what's up? Um. Yeah, why don't he, we talk about it? He's just one. About? He's one of the best people I know. That's why. Right. So don't you want to move on? Meet a woman? No, not. I don't want to. I'm not gay. You know. I'm not gay. No, she said, don't she you want meant, him yeah, to move she on? She meant, don't you want him to move on? It's not all about you. Maybe if you would stop staring at your phone while she's talking, you would be able to understand what she's saying. To you. Yeah, but you have to listen to your guests. But that would require okay. having, I don't know care that she's yeah. there You're not gay. i'm not gay i don't like women like that i don't think i do no i mean like don't you want him to move, move on be no. a woman for him not that i wanted him not that i want anything to do with this but i think that i'm never contacting benji or like if i do it will be very minimal if i do want to i would love to meet Howard Stern. okay um, at least she can admit it I'd love to meet Howard Stern. Yeah. Aren't you related? You guys have the same last name. Right. Um, Tell her you're a member of the tribe. Uh, also, IRL streamers, seriously, man, it just, it looks like homeless people with phones. Like, it's, just get uh, a set. I was just going to say something. that. It just looks like you're walk, wandering the streets homeless and you're just filming shit. And, you know, we can criticize the people who do IRL streaming, but the people who watch it are really the most broken ones. That this is the, like, we have limitless amounts of entertainment and you choose this. Yeah. Best of luck. No accounting for taste, I guess. So she brings up Andy Dick in this next one because she's pissed off this Ayala Stern and she doesn't want to be on the camera anymore because she's called Elisa out and saying, look, you're this is fake. You're being fake. You're and... being fake. This whole thing is fake. I don't she said, I don't want to be associated with it anymore. I'm getting the I'm off camera. Are you off YouTube? No, I don't no, take my stuff off. YouTube. What? Yeah. No, I'm not taking it off. I'm not I don't want to just come back. Come back. No, we can make Oh, and somebody's pissed because now they yeah. chased off their TikToker that they were hoping to suck some fans out exactly. of. Exactly. Now this this big TikToker is going to say shitty things about you. You won't get to grift off her audience now. Mm -hmm. But right now on the phone, he's got her on the phone. He, he's trying to smooth things over so I can go apologize. We'll meet her wherever she is, and we're going to apologize. What's going on? Okay, so so Ayala, Ayala, can I can I say one thing, Ayala? There's some very successful actors. They're just sitting on the sidewalk, like homeless, like you said, like homeless, homeless people. people that are on the network that me and Billy are on. Uh, one of what them network? is my fiance Andy IP2. Dick, who uh, fiance was on the Andy show Dick. Less Than Perfect. He was on um, what else was he on? Uh, uh, the, the Andy Dick uh, Show. On the Andy Dick Show. Andy Dick show. What else? About that one. Uh, News radio. News radio. Have you ever heard of the show News Radio? Yeah, I was alive in the nineties. Yeah, by the way, you're telling her why she should be nice to you because you know a lot of people who've been more successful than you have. Right. And by the way, great way to show that you're not just siphoning off Andy Dick for his career when you call him your fiancé. And then instead of listing things that he makes you feel or, you know, things you guys do together. You list you, his credits. You list his credits. Wow. That's really amazing, Elisa. I... What I love about her is it's so easy to dissect her because she does it to herself right in front of you. Yeah. She doesn't have the self-awareness to realize this is a bad look. Well, that's all of our little cows. Speaking of not a good look. So she brought up Andy Dick and she says, all these actors are coming. All these people are coming. You're going to want to be on the stream with me. On this network that she's so, on. So she says, well, if you want me to talk to Andy Dick, I'll talk to Andy Dick. 
Elisa no like that one bit. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Without her, though? This Ooh, is the this is the pinnacle good. of this uh this clip. Hi. I'm just putting it on my own face. It's just on my face. It's not even it's it turns. No, 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 no. I'm just, just gonna turn. No, 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 no. Hi, how's it going? Hi, hi, Ayala. Nice well. right. Let's go get some. Okay, where do you wanna go? I don't know, you guys are hungry? I will get you it's my Airbnb, so they said no gas and No we we don't need a guest. We could just stand out here for a second and then we could go wherever you want. That's the beauty of IRL streaming. Yeah. Beauty of IRL streaming is we don't really have a plan or a show to do or anything interesting planned. So or a stage or a studio or any sort of a setup, so we could just walk. Let's wander around like homeless people with our phones on. You can't do this. Right. Okay, it's just on my face. Okay. Okay. It's on my face. Okay, okay, Call it your okay, money I'll maker, follow but you guys. Let's be honest. Could you imagine anything more vapid than this? I can't. I, I can't, but I'm... Also, I don't want to. I mean, right. like, I mean, there's a don't certain rack point. Your brain and there's hurt a yourself. certain point where you, if you can figure out how something could be real, you also don't want to live in that reality. Right. And that's where I am. I don't want to create the scenario lest it come to life. <laughs> Everything uh. we did with COVID came back to turn real. <laughs> I'm stopping now. So here's Elisa finding out that Ayala decided. Well, I don't need uh, Elisa Jordana to talk to uh, Andy Dick. Okay. And now. Everything we've said about her relationship with Andy Dick, she's controlling him. She's keeping him fucked up. She's brainwashing him. She's making sure that he stays in a bubble so she can make money off of him. She's, uh, we've accused her of being a climber, a clout chaser, not really giving a shit about these guys, but only using them so that she can fill this idea of fame that's escaped her her entire life. And she's been mad at us for those criticisms. Okay. I want you to watch the behavior she exhibits and I want to ask you if Elisa Jordana maybe owes us an apology. Oh, I thought you were saying we were about to eat a whole bunch of humble pie. Oh, oh, oh yeah. Or, or the flip side, maybe we're going to show that we've been wrong about Elisa the whole time. She really does just care about Andy Dick's well-being, and she even wants him to get into a rehab and whatnot. Okay. Those are the two things that could happen in this clip. Ayala, do you want to say bye to the, your fans? That I'm hoping will come to me? To the fans right. Before I... Okay. I don't know if Lala... Or... Called her Lala. I don't know if Ayala wants to say bye, but I mean, this is definitely going to be my last stream with her. I will not stream with her again. Uh -oh. I just, I just can't take it. It's just right. too much for me. It's you chased above. her off. How do you like being called out, huh? How do you like being played with, huh? How does it feel? I nobody should feel sympathy for this woman. What I'm willing to do. Um. Yeah. I great, can't believe great she show prep. Yeah. Ayala, what's going on over there? What's uh -oh. she doing? Billy, who's she talking to? I'll text you my name. I'll text you my name. So she's saying, I'll text you my name. So she's talking, talking to, to someone. someone. And she's establishing who she is with that And person. he's saying, hey, why don't you give me your text? Why don't you give me your this? We'll get in touch, blah, blah, blah. Right. Oh, get ready for the fireworks. Who's she talking to? She's who very is that? Who are you talking to? Billy, who are you talking to? She's not. She's always so comfortable on her streams and like, I'm the queen and I'm in Who's she talking to? The minute she doesn't have control, she goes into full blown panic mode. Wait till you find out who she's talking to. Who's she talking to? Shouldn't you be doing a show? Ayala, who are you talking to? What business is it of yours? Who's she talking to? Andy. Andy? No! No, you're not talking to Andy. That's my, my, my fiance. That's my fiance. Andy, do not talk to her. Andy, do not talk to her. She's a fucking bitch. Do not talk to her. She what is panicking. She is losing her mind because Ayala might actually give a shit about Andy, try to get him help, tell her what's going on with Elisa. In Elisa's mind, this is the cult member leaving the cult. This is Andy on Rumspringa, and she doesn't want that. I mean... Could you at least let the facade hold for like a minute? <laughs> like you dropped it so fast, it almost made my fucking head spin. And I have balance issues. I do not appreciate that. Like, honestly, dude. Wow. I love Just this. immediately. Don't talk to him. She's a bitch. Whoa. I'm your friend, Andy. Don't trust her. Don't trust anyone that's outside of me. I'm the one that you can trust. Meanwhile, she's kept him fucked up. She's kept him loaded. She's she, introduced him to people who've done the same. He went to jail because of the shit she's put him through. And now he's out and she's, oh, I'm your friend, Andy. 
He got mugged and called her, and she put him on air. With his face all, all busted fucked up. it up. It just, like, he wasn't in a position to be Ooh. interviewed. It wasn't a good look for him. And now, it, and now we're getting an inside look at what Elisa does when he talks to anyone outside of her. You want, can you spell abusive relationship any better than this conversation is? No, and this makes her comment to her before look even worse when her, uh, when uh, Alaya or whatever her name is, Alaya. Uh, yeah. Anyhow, when she said, Ayala. Going, Ayala. Yeah. There we go. Uh, never mind. Uh, <laughs> anyway, so that's, uh, yeah, with, with him, her ex, and her chasing after the ex thing, and she's like, "Why don't you don't you want him to move on and meet someone and and meet a woman and she get doesn't his, want anybody?" And, and the thing is, is that's what this proves. Yeah. Because literally, I was talking to Andy Dick. What are you talking to him? <gasps> He's my yeah! fiance. Do you want to go back to the start of this meltdown and we'll mm -hmm. shut up for the whole thing? Yeah. Who are you talking to? Billy. Is she talking to? Why do you care? Ayala, who are you talking to? Who's she talking to? Andy. Andy? Andy? No! No, you're not talking to Andy. That's my, my, my fiance. That's my fiance. Andy, do not talk to her. Andy, do not talk to her. She's a fucking bitch. Do not talk Did to her. Did you just Andy. take a phone no. from somebody? No, get the fuck out of here. You're going to talk to my fiance to get some kind of connection? Are you fucking out of your mind? Give me the number. Yeah, you're, yeah Andy's not talking to you, bitch. No, you're not going to try to take my Andy what? from me. Ooh, that you talk about letting the mask slip. That was a full on drop. You aren't taking my Andy from me. That's my meal ticket. I have been pumping him full of drugs Whoa. and booze waiting for this to end so I can get paid to do the documentary. Hey, wait a minute. If this woman's a nobody and she's not attractive or anything else, why is she such a threat to you, Elisa? The ugliness, the mirror that she looks into and the ugliness she sees reflecting out of it, you're getting to see the mask slip here. She doesn't believe she's worthy. She doesn't believe she's going to get anywhere with it if anyone else comes in and interferes. This Ayala is now a threat to her because because she's got a plan for this relationship with Andy. She's going to get a certain thing out of it or is getting a certain thing out of it. And she's worried that if Andy talks to anyone that's not her, they'll fill him in on what a piece of dog shit deal he's got. And it'll all be exposed and she'll fall apart. And she'll have to find an even bigger celebrity fuck up boyfriend to manipulate. Oh, and by the way, if you want to discredit anything that she's about to say or do about it, it really helps that you were begging her to be on your show, being yeah. super nice, being, no, just, just come back, just come back, just come back. Right. And then the minute she leaves, who's she talking to? And it, you're a bitch. Don't talk to my boyfriend. Like, <laughs> um, you wanted her to be on your show. It's fucking perfect. No, I Andy, don't want to talk to her. You're not allowed to talk to her. You're not allowed to tell him who he's allowed to talk to. What are you doing? Phone. I freaking, they were talking to each other. He was giving her some advice. No, Andy, you're not talking to her. Sorry. He was just giving no, her advice no, about no, something. No, no, no. Even Elisa's person, like the person who's with Elisa, is like, it's not a big deal, Elisa. He was just giving her advice. And uh, again, I don't know if you're aware of this, ma'am. You don't get to tell people who they can and can't talk to. Right. The assumption and stipulation I, that you do. I also don't give a shit about Andy Dick. Like, Andy Dick's had multiple chances to fix himself, and, and he, he fucking won't. Yeah. And he associates with these people who do this shit to him. So part of this is on Andy Dick, too. Mm -hmm. But watching her flip the fuck out is so telling. I'm sorry. No. 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 Get the fuck out. Are you fucking crazy, Andy? This is the bitch that fucking hit me yesterday. You're going to give her advice? Yeah. No. No, no. She doesn't get any connections, Andy. No. no. Um, then Wait, why no. was she on your... Hold on. Maybe you handed her the phone. I didn't. Yeah, she goes, you handed her the phone. Andy's like, what the... F like, even Andy, who's probably intoxicated, is like, what the fuck's your problem? Like, you brought the... Like you said, you brought this bitch on your show. Yeah. Oh, she does not like being in control. How do you like being played with, right. Elisa? How do you like being manipulated? How do you like it? How does it feel, honey? How does it feel, sugar tits? How does it feel to be worked over, manipulated, not in control? I hope it feels fucking good. Oh, and by the way, uh, uh, sweetie, um, why is it uh, she doesn't get any connections? You had her on your show because yeah. she has more than you. <laughs> exactly. She's got more connections than you do. Oh, she doesn't by the way, need you. if Ayala Stern ends up seeing this, you are welcome on this show anytime to talk about your experience with Elisa Jordana. I'd love to have a conversation. So I did not hand her the phone. No. No, Andy. I, I, I didn't say let me talk to the bitch that hit. 
She hit me yesterday, Andy. You're really, you're really, you're really going to give her advice, acting advice? She sh but you brought her back on, so obviously the hitting thing didn't bother you until you could use it as a way to manipulate Andy Dick. Plus, why is it a big problem she's talking to Andy Dick? You used Andy's dick as a, or Andy Dick, sorry. No, you had it right. You used Andy's dick as the name drop to get her to come back. You're like, hey, right. by the way, Andy Dick, all this stuff. So you're just paying off what you said you do. Exactly. Connections. And by the way, Elisa, I doubt it's the first time a woman's wanted to punch you in the face, so just relax. She's a climber. Andy, she, you, you think I'm a climber? She's a real climber. She's real. This is the real deal. Yeah, because she's climber. succeeding. Wait a minute. That slip, though. Andy. You think I'm a climber. Andy, you think I'm a climber. What is it going to take to get Andy to... Because it sounds like he's right there. It sounds like he's done it everything but publicly said it. It sounds like he's right there. They just need to get him off the booze and the drugs. That's why they keep him all drugged and liquored up. Is because if he doesn't, he has a moment of clarity and he goes, you're just a clout chaser and a climber. I've seen a million of you in my career. Right. Andy. I don't know who she is. I didn't say, let me talk to the bitch that hit she hit me yesterday, Andy. You're really, you're really, you're really gonna give her advice, acting advice. Rejection she's a coming. climber, Andy. She, you, you think I'm a climber? She's a real climber. She's real. This is the real deal. A bitch climber. She just wants to be an actress. She uses everybody around her. She tries to. She tries. Uh, is there a mirror where you're pointing? Is this projection? Is this that Elisa Jordana project projection I've heard so much about? Because it sounds like she's screaming into a mirror. She's just a climber. She's younger than me. She's more successful than me. She's sitting there Prettier with than more me. viewers than I have on fucking TikTok. She is a bitch climber. She's not a bitch climber. She's the one who asked you, why are you still talking to our ex-boyfriend? And she's also the one who was a guest on your show. She's got her own TikTok. She's doing her own thing. She's not the one dating famous guys so that she can get a bump from it, Elisa. I'm sorry, but Ayala Stern... Or claiming you here. clinging to every famous guy she did date in case they suddenly became relevant again. Yeah. She used me. She used Benji. She's trying to use Billy. She thinks Billy's related to Shirley Temple, which is definitely not true. But anyway. Well, how'd she get that idea? Did you say that? You said that. You probably told her that, which was a lie. It, 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 she's, a, she's a bullshit artist, and she's a loser, and she's insane. So uh, you're not talking to her. Sorry. Uh, Sorry. Uh, did you forget that he is an adult capable of making his own decisions? Uh, when That thin facade of reasonable person she has God. snaps at the first sign of her being exposed, and she just lets it all out. She's like that person who goes on a crazy rant in a movie about what an evil, duplicitous bastard they've actually been, only to find out the microphone to the whole auditorium is on, and Oops. now they all see it, and she's like, oh, shit. You think you've won. You've traded her. Killing stroke, a short footing for a killing stroke. <laughs> I don't care. I don't want to talk to you. Where were you? I don't know where the fuck you were. I'm trying to talk to you. I'm Andy Dick is fucked up in this, by the way. Oh, yeah. It's too bad. My hair. Well, I thought you were coming up here. Oh. Just please, just, just please don't talk to that woman. Please. Okay, so. Just wait. It's almost done. Okay, so that's gonna. This is gonna be music now, and we can't play that. But that's that's the end of that clip. That was such a perfect example of what that I thought chick you is. said you were gonna come up here. Oh, it's almost like she's strumming you along, and she didn't want to address that right there. She just goes, J "Just please don't see her." Yeah, like I don't want to make any promises to you on the air. <laughs> please don't, please don't talk to her. Or no, not please don't. You're not talking to her. You're not talking to her, Andy. Oh, was that perfect? God, just all the... It, I've never seen in one clip Elisa project all the things she is onto another person so perfectly doing it to Andy Dick. And it, like I said, she dropped her facade so fast. Like so fast from, yeah. I just want to be friends. I don't like hostility or all this negative attitude shit. Yeah. She's I a just, fucking bitch. She hit me. And, uh, I mean, Jesus. You, my favorite line. You think I'm a climber, Andy? She's a climber. She's a real climber. Yeah, Ooh. she's a real climber because she's actually doing it. You're a climber hopeful. Oh, that was beautiful. And th the best part is nobody did it to her. She did it all to herself. She did it all to herself.